All right, so here we have the Evo 10 powertrain. We're just gonna separate the transmission from the engine and take a look at the clutch and um, inspect the bearing, see anything else that we can see. All right, so we just separated the engine and transmission. First look at the clutch. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the clutch is out. Definitely is going to have to be replaced. All right, so the engine stand is about to come into work. We already have the bracket on the back of the engine. We're going to put it on there. All right, so the engine's on the stand. Take a look at it real quick. All right, so the head's off. Let's look at this. Number one, two, three, and four. You already, you guys already seen this, so but closer look. <clears throat> So we're going to start the disassembly process. We're going to take the piston with the connecting rods out. Anything that's bolted onto the engine like this, lines, um, the chain or guide, anything that's like that bolted onto the engine is going to be removed. Cradle, which is this piece right here that goes around the block, and um, all the bolts are already out. So, right now, we're just gonna gently pry and uh, break free the RTV that's holding it down right now. All right, so we have the cradle out, it's separated. Here's that glue I was talking about. Now, we have the crankshaft with the connecting rods, I'm gonna pop those bolts out. All right, so we have the engine fully disassembled with the crankshaft. Got all the bearings, the pistons. Let me show you number four. You already know how that one went. They said one more PSI won't hurt. Boom! Let's see. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so we got the bear block now. Empty, nothing in there. Uh, no, we don't feel like taking the filter off, so we're gonna leave it there until we need to.